Great to see everyone here. Welcome to Embedded Open Source Summit 2024. Um, I've seen a lot of familiar faces that I saw in Prague, and so glad to have you back here. And we're excited to be with you now in Seattle. So uh, before we get our program started this morning, um, first, I want to make sure we have a oops. huge thanks to our diamond sponsor, Intel, uh, and our other diamond sponsor, Texas Instruments. We would not have been able to make this event possible without your help, and it's very much appreciated. As well, I want to thank our platinum sponsor, Midokura. So, like I say, we would not be here without your support, and so we very much appreciate it. And also, thank you very much to our program committee, who did an amazing job with their curation and reviews, and I think we've got a pretty good set of content for this event. So we have just a little bit of housekeeping uh, that we'd like to uh, go through before uh, we start the keynotes themselves. Uh, we encourage you to visit the Solutions Showcase that's in the ballroom number one, uh, located on level five, same level as this. It's just over in the other section of the building. Um, you can find coffee breaks there uh, daily, as well as lounge area activities, uh, job board, and a whole lot more. And the sponsors have a ton of information they want to share with you and a lot of interesting stuff. In terms of Wi-Fi, on your uh, lanyard, uh, on the back of it, if you look at it, your badge, there is Wi-Fi information. There's also Wi-Fi information uh, scattered throughout the building. So the last thing uh, that I want to talk about is we do have lunches included every day of the event. And in particular, there's a women and non-binary lunch, uh, women and non-binary and open source lunch. That's today at 12.55. Uh, and that's open to all attendees who identify as women or non-binary. There's no pre-registration required, so uh, if you're interested in that and qualify, then uh, please feel free to join that. The lunch will be located in Terrace Suite 2, uh, and that's on level four. I'll look forward to seeing some of you there. Um, during the afternoon break, um, we'll have our Ask the Expert session, and it's a good opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one with um, some of the longtime community leaders in our area and get advice, ask questions, and more. Um, these are at 2.55 today and are in the Solutions Showcase, so back in the trade flow area, for our area. And it's the Olympic View Lounge on level five as well. So, and also, tonight in the show, Sponsor Showcase, don't mi miss our Tux Track, um, where it's going to be looking at, you know, giving you a chance to network with your peers and ask questions about the sponsors and check out their track trends. And so that will be beginning at 5 o'clock today, as soon as our sessions conclude. OK. So that's tonight. And then tomorrow night, we have our receptions. And we actually have two different locations where you can choose to go. Uh, you can go to the Garage Billiards and Bowl, uh, or you can go to Stoop Brewing. Uh, just a note on the Garage Billiards and Bowl, both of those locations are about an 18-minute walk. Uh, which is not too bad, but if you would rather not walk it, there will be transportation uh, provided. Um, and the garage billiards and bowl is limited to attendees who are 21 years and older. Uh, so, uh, and you will be required to show a government ID uh, to get into that, but that, that will have some fun uh, stuff going on there. Uh, at the Stoop Brewing, uh, Capitol Hill, that is open to all attendees, all ages. And those begin at 6 p.m. Make sure you have your badge so that you can attend those. And then the last thing that we want to just remind everybody of is our event code of conduct. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, everyone feels welcome and included, and uh, we just want to have uh, respect and a uh, high degree of professionalism here. If you have any concerns, if you see anything that concerns you, uh, just, just please go to the registration desk or talk to uh, any member of the event staff. Um, and there's also an info, info desk uh, in the Solutions Showcase area. And they'd be happy to uh, uh, talk to you about anything uh, that you have that's concerned. With that, let's go ahead and get started. So this is going to be a little bit weird because uh, Kate and I are co-introducing each other. Uh, <laughs> our first speaker today is Kate Stewart. Um, and besides being the op uh, uh, being on the Embedded Open Source Summit program chair, she's the chair, Kate is also the vice president of the Dependable Embedded Linux Systems at the Linux Foundation. So Kate has launched a number of projects, including ELISA 
and Zephyr projects, and she's involved with Real Time and uh, many other embedded projects. And today, uh, Kate is going to talk about uh, some of the challenges involved with open source software projects that are used in critical systems. So, Kate, thank you. Thank you. 